James Ensor's masks confronting death exemplifies his unique, macabre style of painting which set him apart from the painting trends of the early 20th century and which influenced many artists after him. Masks confronting death exemplifies Ensor's usage of masks to reveal the underside of society. Although the instigation for including this prop may have come with his awareness of them in his family's shop, he was most probably attracted to their ability to both hide the specific identity of the figure depicted and simultaneously add a note of intrigue and mystery. In this case the masked figures are even scarier than the figure of death at the center. In fact, shrouded in a white garment and tucked under a hat, death seems almost cowering in the face of society's mockery. The appearance of masks within early modern art increased around the turn of the century, as their ability as expressive tools was understood. In this image Death looks out at the viewer, actually confronting her with his gaze. Enser was struggling with the recent death of his father at the time the work was created and his inclusion of the motif may indicate his attempt to deal with his own mortality. Skeletons, painted faces and lots of sweet treats. No, it's not Halloween. It's Dia de los Muertos, or Day of the Dead. Day of the Dead is a holiday celebrated in Mexico and some parts of Latin America that honors and commemorates death. It combines indigenous rituals with the Catholic holidays of All Souls and All Saints Day. It's believed that the spirits of the dead are allowed to visit their families on October 31st and leave on November 2nd. Candles and flowers line the cemeteries and streets to guide loved ones to their homes. During that time, families and friends prepare food, make altars, and decorate gravestones to pay respects to the deceased. Parades are held and children eat candies to celebrate the lives once lived. I was born on Friday, April 13, 1860, the day of Venus. My grandparents had a shop selling seashells, lace, rare stuffed fish, old books, prints, jams, china, and an inextricable jumble of assorted objects. The proximity of these wonders, the colours, this light-filled, gleaming opulence, helped turn me into a painter in love with colour and sensitive to the dazzling play of light. The mask means to me freshness of colour, sumptuous decoration, wild unexpected gestures, very shrill expressions, exquisite turbulence. 